today we have an unboxing of my radiator for the Miata. Uh, I just bought this like Friday, Friday night, and it's Tuesday and it's already here. So super fast shipping, and because um, they'll deliver on the Saturdays and Sundays. So it was super fast shipping. So now um, I just removed the old one from the car. I mean, actually, it's pretty brand new. I bought it in May, so it's really not that old. But you know, I want a uh, aluminum one. So this is an eBay, of course, eBay. I'm cheap. I'm gonna pay 300 bucks for a Mishimoto one, where I can pay 100 bucks, save myself 200 dollars, and it does the same job. So it's not a you know, it's not you're gonna be able to see anyways. I mean, you can barely see the top. That's about it. I don't really care. Anyways, so I bought this for 100 bucks on eBay. Uh, it's a DNA, some shit like that. Of the company that makes it. So let's take a look and see what's the quality. You know, I already removed the old one, like I said. Um, took me about two minutes to get it out. Only two bolts and uh, the hose clamps, and it's out. So then, I don't think I have to do it. I just put my boost controller in, so I have to do, um, do my boost per gear. You know, figure out everything about that. And I should be able to, you know, drive the car around. But it literally just snowed yesterday, so I can drive the car around too. The clothes are um, dry. I mean, the roads are dry, and the there's some salt. And I'm basically gonna be shed some salt since you know, all the all the water, all the snow. But um, so the car is pretty much done. I just have to put the tires on and put my own roll bar and harness. Uh, my roll bar and my my harness and my seats in. I haven't bought the harness, but I have to buy those uh, ASAP. Get it open right here. Nothing fancy, just some uh, foam inside. Some of this. And here it is. Let me see if I can slide it around. stuff it makes a mess luckily it wasn't all ripped off apart but it's a radiator it really doesn't look that bad for being eBay I was gonna go with a CX racing one too but same thing you know CX racing kind of eBay this will one step off from eBay and then later we'll do the same same thing. So why spend more money when I can get this for 100 bucks, right? And this certain price you don't buy from eBay, like a turbo. I mean, I've heard people done enough hours turbo and actually last a while, but I had horrible experience with my eBay turbo. Uh, it started getting shaft play after 10 miles of having it, or like around well, 20 miles. It started having a shaft plate. It was side by side, so it's not that bad. You know, what's bad is when it's all front and back. But it's brand new turbo, you know, shouldn't have done that. So I just went full, um, I just went with a uh, Volvo turbo. So got the radiator here. Um, it's, you know, pretty thick. It should cool the car enough, you know. This one, the cars will really run hot with this one that I have right now. It's also a 190, 190, you know, 198 when I boost it. But since I'm gonna be doing autocross, I want it to go a little bit cooler, since I'm gonna be beating on it a little bit more. Um, so I just wanna make sure I don't overheat it and blow, you know, blow head gasket, which probably is gonna happen because it's still, it's still in the stock head gasket. So I'm just waiting for it to blow, hopefully not anytime soon. I don't wanna do it right now. But here it is. It comes with that. Like a lot of eBay ones that come with cap, and actually this one comes with the cap and the drain uh, bolt right here. So it comes with the little O rings, they won't be leaking. It's pretty nice. Just gotta take that out before I put it in. And here it is. Let me give you guys enough clothes. 
an up close view so you guys can see how it looks. Alright, so here it is. And what I like that it comes with all these stock mounts. So you can just literally just bolt it right in. And I mean, all the holds on is here, over here, and that's about it. Um, what I'm thinking, I mean, actually, yeah, it has the holes for the fence. So you can put your stock uh, fence route. So you can see there's a little dent right here, which that doesn't really matter. You know what matters the, uh, the sides, but still, I'm on eBay. I mean, it's eBay, but not everything sold on eBay. It's eBay. If that makes any sense, you know, a lot of companies, high-end companies, who sell shit on eBay. You should sell a little bit cheaper, but as long as you don't get no uh, knockoff brand, like this is a knockoff, <laughs> basically, of uh, any aluminum radiator out there. So, pretty clean. There's another one right here. All dented. Again, he has all the mounts. Comes with the uh, cap. I like that it comes with the little nipple for the uh, overflow, too. Pretty sure that's not JDM. Pretty sure that's Chinese. <laughs> All right, let me open the cap. Inspect the inside. To be honest, it's not bad. eBay, not that bad. We have to really see when I get it in the car. See how it actually works. But, as I said, if you're looking for a Miata radiator, if you wanna see the quality of this, and if you wanna see if it actually goes on the car, you know, stay tuned to my channel. I'll be putting this actually as soon as I end this video. Slap it right in, you know, only two bolts. Get some uh, more coolant and fill that up. And uh, actually after this, I can start the car because I haven't started the car since it has no radiator and it had a hose that was leaking, so I fixed that too. Here it is, guys. I'll close the video. Basically, there's a couple more dents up here. The end is that this bend like really quick, as you can see, the, I can really bend with my fingers right here. I don't want to bend them too much because that's air, less airflow that goes through it. So, but you know, I really don't mind that this like this. You know, it's really not the big of a deal. Unless it starts leaking, yeah, it's a big deal. But. Um, if you guys want to, you know, see more of the channel, see more of the radiator, uh, 100 bucks, not bad. Like I said, pretty good quality for it being eBay. The welds are not that bad. It looks pretty nice. Um, so if you guys want to keep watching more of the channel, more of the car, Miata, or my friend's Evos, that have a bunch of Evos, and my friend, my brother's DSM. Actually, got new wheels, let me show you guys. The DSM got uh, some better wheels. It's pretty good now. You barely see it, but let's see if I can get this light on real quick. Here's some XSRs. Um, if you guys have seen my channel, it had the Vox Racing uh, wheels on it. It was a Vox Racing, uh, they were like $2,000 wheels, and literally they look, the car looks so much better with cheap wheels. And um, so, anyways, guys, if you guys want to see more of the Miata, plus DSM, my friend's Evo, we literally just took it to a shop. He's going to get his engine out. And uh, after he did the whole engine, he wants to go with more power. So he's going to put, you know, bigger rods, bed rods, and uh, it's going to go for a glass of horsepower. So if you guys want to see more of that, make sure to stay in the channel and see you in the next one.